Eddie Muller here, welcoming you back to Noir Alley. I've got a particularly unusual film for you today. It's Suspense, a 1946 offering from Monogram Pictures. Now, normally, if I was presenting a Monogram film, I'd prepare you for a typical Poverty Row production, shot in only a few days with barely any production values. But this one is different. It was ballyhooed at the time as the studio's first million-dollar production. Typically, Poverty Row projects destined for the bottom half of double bills might cost between a quarter and a half million dollars. And I mean a quarter million, not a quarter of a dollar, although some Poverty Row movies look like maybe they were made for pocket change. Suspense, however, was a step up to the big leagues for its producers, the King Brothers. In 1945, they'd scored an unexpected hit with Dillinger, thanks largely to a star-making performance by Lawrence Tierney and a script by Philip Jordan that presented an exciting, if not entirely accurate, account of the outlaw's life, all on a budget of $65,000. Jordan earned a wholly unexpected Oscar nomination for Best Screenplay, so Frank King, brainiest of the brothers, asked Jordan to come up with an original script worthy of their newfound status as industry players. Well, sensing the dark tide rising in Hollywood, they decided their million-dollar gambit would be a double-indemnity-style murder drama with a frosty twist. Monogram had recently signed skating star Balita to a seven-year contract. Now, in those days, figure skating was a big attraction, and European athletes like Norway's Sonja Henny and Czech star Vera Hruba specialized in romantic comedies that showed them doing their thing. Sort of like Esther Williams movies, but with frozen water. Belita was to be Monogram's ice queen. Now, longtime viewers of Noir Alley know my fondness for Belita. I've shown two of her other noirs, The Gangster and The Hunted, and spoken at length about what a unique talent she was. But if you missed it, here's the nutshell version. Belita was born in England as Maria Gladys Olive Lynn Jepson Turner, and she was a ballet prodigy before she was 10 years old. She skated for England in the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, and still in her teens, had a stage show designed for her by the extraordinary creative team of Jean Cocteau, Cecil Beaton, and Salvador Dali. But she broke her back in a fall and came to Los Angeles seeking a cure. Now, that ended up being a veterinarian who hung her upside down from a meat hook for several days. Did the trick. When Monogram offered her that long-term contract, she decided to stay in America. Her first two films were traditional ice skating movies, Silver Skates in 1943 and Lady Let's Dance in 44. But then Frank King hit on the idea of transforming Belita from a fairy princess into a femme fatale. And she jumped at the chance to skate on the dark side, believing it would finally dispel comparisons with the eternally sunny Sonia Henney. Frank Tuttle, an industry veteran who directed the 1942 crime thriller This Gun for Hire, was chosen to direct. Like This Gun for Hire, suspense is a weird hybrid of thriller and review. Remember those Veronica Lake musical numbers in a film about a hired assassin? Well, here's a tale of infidelity and murder filled with all kinds of gimmicks and visual gym crackery. And, of course, several story-stopping skating routines, reportedly choreographed by Nick Castle, but arranged largely by Belita herself, including one that features a breathtaking leap through a ring of swords. For a young woman, she was only 22. Belita had no trouble standing up for herself. She was devastated when the penny-pinching King brothers decided to cut her biggest number, a wonderfully weird solo in the spotlights called Introspection. Belita refused to finish the film unless the number was restored. She shot the entire thing in three hours, sheathed in a sexy black outfit that suggested she was the world's first ice skating dominatrix. Belita was a sensation, and Suspense was a box office hit. Originally to be called Glamour Girl, a title that in no way suggests what the audience is in for, the film co-stars Barry Sullivan, Albert Decker, and Eugene Pallette in his final film role. Here is film noir's ice queen, Belita, starring in Suspense.